Hello, my name is David Willers and I'm working as an application engineer for Shining 3D. Today I want to show you how you can scan such a power drill with our new FreeScan UA Pro. So we will use the crossing lines to capture the whole object. We will use the five laser lines to capture the details and the single line to get into the hole. So, Let's get started. We will put the object on the turntable and I will put something down the object so that we can better look into the hole. The next step is we will create a new project. Click OK and now we can select the resolution. As higher we will go with the resolution and more details we will see, but also the scanning speed will be reduced. So for this power drill, I will use the 0.2 millimeters resolution. I click on apply. And now we are on the scan mode. On the left side, we have the camera window from the scanner. We can load the global marker file. We started with the scan point cloud, scan markers and photogrammetry. We can use the light source for crossing lines, parallel lines and single lines. The object surface, if it's normal, reflective or black, we can choose. We can adjust the ripeness, the optimized point cloud function to get the best result and the data settings if you have more reflective or anything like that. So, when we have the crossing line and the object is normal, we take the scanner and push one, the start button, then we are in the preview mode. If we are, go up, you will see that the scanner is getting blue on the top and also on the left side of the software, you see the bar is getting blue. Green means you are in the focus. If you are getting closer, you will see that the scanner is getting red, then you are too close. So find the correct position and press the start button again. And now we are scanning. So as you can see, we are scanning also a lot of our turntable. And to avoid a lot of data we don't need, I will show you now how to start the cutting plane function. So we will stop now, go to the software and click on cutting plane. We have different methods to create. We can use the point, we can use a straight line, or in our case, we will use the markers. So we click on by markers, we hold the shift button on the keyboard and click with the left mouse button on the markers we want to use for the plane. If we have three, we can create the plane. If we click with the mouse on the plane, we can move it up and down. Like this. And click, or you can also on the side, you can rotate it, or use the adjustment in here to put the plane on the right direction. Click apply and everything what you see is red will be deleted. Now press the start button again and you are in the preview mode. Press again to start. And now everything what is under the cutting plane is not captured anymore. Also with the scanner, you can nearly bend it very, very, very low and it doesn't lose the markers. It's still scanning. If I go more, 
Now it's too much, but you can bend it very, very, very low. So now go over the object, can rotate the table, get all the positions we want to have. Now we are going over the hole. And as you can see, in this mode, we cannot scan really deep inside. So what we can do, we can click with the mouse on single line, or if you press the red button over here, hold it, you will jump automatically to the multi-line and hold it again. You are in the single line mode. If you recognized that the software is not capturing more, you can change the object mode, for example, to reflective. And let's see if it works better now. Yes, now we, we are getting more information. Choose also other positions. Find the best way to scan inside this hole. Now you can see how the single line is capturing the data. If you hold start button for a longer time, then automatically the generate point cloud function starts. All right, so this looks well, well, we have captured also from, from the inside. To get rid of the clay we use for it, we can mark our object, click on connected domain, and everything what is connected is selected. If something is missing, you can edit. Just holding the shift button and the left mouse button, click on invert, and then just on Delete selected data. Click on OK. So now we have our first scan group. So for the next one, we will click on the left side on the project group and click on the small plus for the new project. We will turn our object now. Go back to the scan settings and we'll start again with the scan. First preview mode and then we start. Also now the cutting plane directly. Choose three markers, hold the shift button and click with the left mouse button. Create the climb and let's go on with the scan. So for the hole, we will use again, now I will use my mouse, click on single line, reflective, and we will scan the hole. Right. 
Then we have on both sides one little stamp which shows our product ABS, so the material. If we want to have this clearly on our object, and if we have a look to it now, it's not really the best, but we can use the partial HD scanning for it. So we will start the function, we will select the area we want to rescan, hold the shift button, click the left mouse button and mark the area. Choose the new settings. So we will use 0.03 millimeter resolution. We will click on confirm. We will get the information that the data will be deleted. We say okay. Press the start button. We are directly in the five laser mode. And start the scan. And because of the high point distance, it will take a bit, but now you will see how the scanner is capturing the area. And also the distance is quite close to the object. So ensure that object is not too big or place markers around the area you want to scan in such a detail mode. Then we can unselect, go back, so we can start our point cloud generation. And here we are done. If we have a look now to it, we will see that going close to it, we can read it and also see the high point distance on the scan. It's definitely to see. So now to get rid of the clay, we will mark the scan again, connect the domain. We will go back to scan point cloud first, and then we will use the connected domain so connect the domain, invert, oh this we want to keep, so unselect control button and left mouse button. So now we have two scan groups. I will create now a third one. And after this, we will align these three groups together. Let's put it like that. Go and group, create a new group. And we will make a rough last scan. All right. So use the cutting plane again quickly. Up again. In and delete. Apply. And point cloud generation. We have 
our third scan groups in the project group. We can switch them all on and can see that they are not aligned to each other. On the right side, on this icon, puzzle icon, we can click on it and we'll start the alignment function. Then we can choose by feature, manual or by markers. Let's say the first the fixed mode and third one, we want to align by features. We can just click on apply. And you can see on the button how the alignment works. If you have a nice color mixed from these two colors, then you know or you can see that the alignment works pretty well. Then you can click on next. And you have a group in the fixed scan mode. Choose the third one. Also use the feature and click on apply. If you have markers on the object, you can use also the marker alignment or you can use the menu alignment and choosing three points. So now the alignment is finished. You can see on the top, we would need the fourth one but in our case, let's say it's okay. We click on next, exit. If we unfold the group, we can switch off the marker. So we can only see our point light data. And as I said before, we have the stamp over here in our high detail mode and on the other side, so normal mode. So if we click now on mesh models, we have the filter settings, remove small floating parts, and you can just use the recommending settings, click on apply, and then the software starts to mesh. So here we can see now our finished STL. See that we missed some parts for scanning. It's okay, but we have scanned deeply into our hole. And also here you can see the ABS and that is G is clearly to see on the other side where we haven't used body mode, it's hard to see. So we can click on confirm and now we can use the post processing for a line for filling some holes and so on. So you have seen how to use the scanner with the crossing line. What's the power of the five parallel lines for the detail scan mode and also for the single scan for the holes. If you have any questions, contact us on the metrology support at shining3.com. Write us a mail if you have some ideas or improvements for our software. We are open it to listen to you and to put it in our software. And also have a look to our other videos where we also explain some other functions to you. Thank you for listening and see you.